This is my grandpa, Joe Hahn, in 1924, in his early 20s, stripped down Willis Overland, called the Kiowa Racer. Dad always wanted to build a tribute to this subject of many stories. Not long ago, I built a simple model on SolidWorks to mimic Grandpa's iconic racer, just for fun. Then, last summer, my dad sent me some pictures of his latest acquisition. He wondered if it could be the tribute car. I quickly realized it was a 2627 Ford Roadster and owning one previously, but letting it go before I could do anything to it, I was all in. So I did a quick sketch and sent a text to dad, hey, let's do it. So we brought it into the shop, kind of staged it up and took a good look-see at it. Dad's a diesel guy and he really likes his Mercedeses. We started looking it over and deciding what to do and comparing it to grandpa's old racer body and just decided to, hey, let's cut the door jams out of it. We also decided to hook up that Mercedes four-speed that he got from the Netherlands, traded some cat seats for it. So we screwed it together and hoisted it in there between the frame rails. And it was real obvious that we was gonna have to cut that firewall, so out came the death wheel. So we took a pretty big slice. I think Dad's enjoying this hot rod and stuff. Then out came the death wheel once again to cut that uh, door jam out of there. And there you have it, one racer body. Well, sorta, of, kinda. Then after the day was done, I drew a frame on SolidWorks and Dad did some sketching and he wanted to draw the Kiowa Racer 2. So we got together again and Dad was pointing out all the parts that we want to pull off that Mercedes. He's got a buddy that's a pretty good expert at it. And so X marks the spot on all the stuff. He's gonna take care of that. We went ahead and pulled the motor and tranny out of the hole and, and uh, got her set aside. And then there was a bunch of stuff in the car that we had to get rid of and get out of the way so we could uh, get on with the program. We had the axle kind of clamped to the front just for staging purposes. You know, stuff like that. Hey, let's get with it. Get out of the garbage. So three and a half is what it is, right? I can go cut these on that big wheel in there. If, if you want to get this thing off of there, if you can give me two really, really straight cuts, it's three, 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 and three and a half inches long, then I'll take this apart, okay? Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. One down, one to go. It's interesting to note that that car was actually the back of one roadster and the front of another, and it had been sectioned in a long way uh, right down underneath the door jams. So that essentially made the car six inches longer. And so when we cut the six inches out to make it stock, it was too short. And so in order to get dad's feet in there comfortably and easily, we made it three inches longer than stock. My dad, John Hahn. Stocking this here. There's one down there. Put pieces out there on the welding table, okay? Okay. Go take a little break. Rest your. Oh, there you go. Pound it into shape. You're doing such a good job. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll keep my eyes open. 
There's a lot of fitting and grinding and refitting to get these pieces to fit in there, but it effectively made it three inches longer, like I said previously. And to get a good weld, you gotta do your diligence and get the metal clean and get the fits as good as you can. We had just enough wire in the machine to get the tacks done. Of course, we're way up here on the prairie and I didn't really feel like going anywhere and it was Sunday, it was Christmas actually. <laughs> One side down, and now we're fitting the other side. We should be able to flip it over and get this frame off of it. That crazy frame that came with the car was partial Model T, had pipes in the back section, it had flanges and tube, and it was welded to the body, and it was bolted to the body, and it went under the body and through the body, and it was uh, quite a job just to cut it out of there. I'm sure somebody tried their best, but it has to go. My goal for the day was to get this thing tacked together and flipped upside down so I could get some true dimensions for my frame design. Uh, pretty much have to have it upside down to get accurate numbers. to see happen today now I got to slice that frame in a few pieces so I can get it out the door oh you're doing it I think once you broke it loose, it might just go. Yeah. You're doing it. You're doing it. I bet you can get it. I bet I can do. I bet you can. I bet I'm going to. I bet you can. Oh, look at that. He did it. You're doing it. Just about tipped my dad over on the end of that uh, dolly we made. Yeah, he was up against the corner there. Nope, still got some hacking to do to get those pipes out of there, but that's what we do. All right, so I got this print here. That's our print. Time to take the print and adjust some numbers. There, and it is roughly 40 there. Okay, then we'll make that frame the same width as this. Just like that, I just go to SolidWorks, we'll adjust that, mm -hmm. and then we will build a frame, and this will fit on a brand new frame, and it'll be very cool. Do you need to get the length, the overall length? Um, I'm just going to make it, this one is 136 and a half, I'm going to make it 140, and I'm just going to make it where it looks pretty good in the middle, in the front. It'll just kind of follow suit, and if we bob it off a little bit one way or another, I'll make it after long. 140, it don't need to be any longer than 140. Yeah. Okay. And thanks for watching this installment of uh, Jester's Garage Playlist Kiowa Racer Episode 1. Looking forward to building this frame and uh, making another video. Uh, 
like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to. It'd be awesome. Have a great day and happy hot rodding.